What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope all you're having a great day so far. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't, but I just really realized that this video that you're watching right now is the final video that I'm doing of, of 2018. This is the last 2018 video. Next time I see you all or you see me will be Wednesday, January 2nd, 2019. Um, 2018 has been an up and down year for me. I'm going to say that. 2018 has definitely had, it's had its challenges this year. But uh, next year, I'm hoping for a better, a better year. A much better year. I'm going to speak that into existence. You know, for everybody who's had uh, subpar 2018, speak it into existence that you're going to have a great 2019. You know what I mean? Like, make some changes. You know, do better on some things. You know what I mean? There's always room for improvement. You know, always room. Always. Um, so, let's get into this video. Jason and Sam, first of all, before I even talk about them, um, <laughs> I, I, I want to point out everybody looked great. Everybody did. Everybody had, you know, the men look dapper. The women look great. I, I just have one little thing I want to say about some of these ladies outfits. Um, damn near most of the women were in like bedazzled, shiny dresses. I'm like, what, what was up with the shininess? You know, GH wardrobe department does this every year, right? They do this every year with the outfits. Somebody always wearing something either bedazzled or shiny or both <laughs> at the same time. Um, it's just never plain. It's always bedazzled with a bunch of stuff on it, beads, jewels, uh, and shiny as all hell. Like you could see them from California and they're in New York and you, you know what I mean? Even though they're, they're filming the show in Cali, but you know, poor Charles is in New York, but you could see them from, you know, miles away with that shininess. I was like, but they all look great though. They, they all did. They all dressed to the nines. Hell, they didn't even dress to the nines. A lot of them dressed to the tens. Um, they all look good. They all look great. Um, so yeah, Sam and I don't understand why Sam keeps taking advice from Jason on this situation of who's coming at her. Why do you keep taking advice from Jason? All he keeps telling her is ignore it. You can't ignoring it is not going to do you any good. They're just going to keep emailing you or like I said before, it's going to get worse. They're going to physically reach out. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you might get a phone call that Danny didn't make it to school one day or something. You know, you you know, you don't want to ignore it because you don't know what type of person who you're dealing with. This could be a very, you know, mentally ill person. You you don't know. You don't know what you're dealing with. So I don't think ignoring it would be smart. I'm just saying I get on top of this. You know, that's Jason's answer for a lot of things. Ignore it until it goes away or, you know, the person gets bored or something and leaves you alone. Well, that's not always the case. It doesn't always work that way. And I feel like it's not going to work this way, you know, this time. I mean, he tried to do that with Franco years ago. How well did that work out? I mean, the man kidnapped your your lady love. He kidnapped Lulu. He kidnapped Carly. You know, like dude was a psychopath. And look what happened when you ignored him. He got really mad when Jason ignored him. So ignoring does not work. Not for every situation. Definitely not this one. So I don't think she should listen to that advice. That's ill advised on, on his part. Um... So, yeah, they, they look good, you know, going to the, um, I think, what was it? The Pediatric Cancer Research Benefit um, event or whatever, New Year's party. I love that because, you know, Days of Our Lives had the same thing. It wasn't the same cause, but they had a charity gala on New Year's Eve for their episode. So I like that the shows are doing like charity on New Year's. You know what I'm saying? Like you get to go to a nice event, dress up, have your party drink champagne, but you also get to donate to a worthy cause. So they're mixing all that in one. I think that's very uh, important and it's an amazing thing to do. Um, Jason obviously gave a very generous check. I don't, we don't know how much he gave, but I'm pretty sure it's in the millions. 
Um, Jason is always very generous with money because Jason has plenty of money. You know what I'm saying? Jason lives a very modest lifestyle in case some people haven't noticed. Um, black shirt, blue jeans, black boots. That's the wardrobe of the day. So he's not a very expensive person. Like I said before, he's not flashy. He's none of that. So I like the fact that Jason and Sam gave big, you know, big check. Um, Ned, of course, is not happy about that article Lulu put out, <laughs> which I figured he wouldn't be because he wanted to try to keep that as quiet as humanly possible about the murder. He don't want the town in a panic. But at the same time, they had a right to know. So, of course, he told Jordan to limit Lulu's. um, What do you call it? Um, Her access to the PCPD. He no longer wants her to have access to the police station. I mean, she is an investigative journalist. He doesn't want her snooping around the department, looking at information, classified files. He don't want her nowhere near it. You know what I mean? He wants to put a stop to this. Like, he don't need the, the public in, you know, throwing themselves into chaos. He just don't need that. But, of course, it's a political move on his part, too. Stupid move, but a political one, nonetheless. Um, it was good to see... Um, Scott and Laura together again. God knows I do not want the two of them ever to get back together. That's a no for me. Um, they work better as friends, but I like the fact that, you know, he even though he's mad late, he tried to tell Laura about Ava and Kevin sleeping together, even though she already know Ava and Ryan. Um, but I like that he was talking to her, you know, trying to be there for her as a friend. I miss them as friends. You know, we don't get a whole bunch of scenes all the time of Laura and Scott and stuff. And I miss their dynamic. They sucked as a couple, though, because Laura was never totally, totally in love with Scott. You know, she loved him, but eh, not enough to be married to him. So I think they're just better off as friends. But I do like it. Um, I still don't trust Kim. Every time she's with Drew, she always reminisces about when they were together years ago. Like, I don't trust her. I don't trust these stories that she's telling him because these are all from her her account. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if that's all true. Apparently, they conceived Oscar on New Year's Eve or whatever, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, whatever. Um, I don't trust what she says. I still don't trust her. Something about her facial expressions and I don't know. It's something very off about her i felt like that every since she popped up on this show i felt like that i was like there's something about her she's not telling some type of secret i have a feeling she might be connected to this hank guy i mean who knows hank might be oscar's dad we don't know you know what i'm saying because she just gives off these weird ass facial expressions like she knows something but she holding back that's just the vibe i get from her i could be wrong i hope i am but it's the vibe that I get. Like, you're not being 100% truthful. Um, and I also feel like she's playing games with Julian. Like, you're sitting there kissing Julian, telling him, oh, go to the event, go to the gala. But then now you're reminiscing with Drew and kissing all up on him. And it's sad that Julian had to see that. I feel bad for Julian every day because, yes, he's not perfect. Yes, he's done wrong majorly but i feel like he's been paying the price and he's still paying the price for his actions i mean look at him christmas he was all by himself new year's he went to a charity gala by himself and his own daughter still wouldn't talk to him and now he sees his girl kissing her ex her baby daddy like that's messed up i'm just saying like julian has had a <laughs> he's had a pretty rough I'm just saying. So I think one of Julian New Year's resolutions should be to make 2019 his best year. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully everybody deserves it. I feel bad for him because he really likes Kim. You know, he really feels her. He's digging her. But I just feel like she's not over Drew. Like she claims that she is. And honestly, I don't see no chemistry between her and Drew. I, honestly, I don't. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't. I don't see no chemistry between them. That's like the Candyman having chemistry with Michael Myers. I probably wouldn't see it. The only bond that they would have is killing folks. That's it. Um, Just like Oscar, just like Drew and Kim. The only bond they have is that child. That's it. And that might not even be his child. I don't even think he had a DNA test on Oscar, did he? Not that I can recall. I don't think he did. But she is a doctor, so she could have probably changed those results her damn self, so who knows. I just think it's something shady about her. It's something not right. Something ain't clicking. Um, 
Anyway, Willow, she every time she's on screen, she look like she want to cry. Like her eyes be looking all teary eyed and stuff and watery. Like every even when she was talking to Lulu and stuff about the Charlotte situation at the gala, she looked like she wanted to cry. Like she just got that face. Like she just I don't think she probably really deep down wanted to go to that event. Um, I think she just went because she didn't want to duck out on Chase or whatever, seeing as how she didn't hang out with him on Christmas Eve, so she probably just wanted to make it up to him. I don't think she really wanted to be there. You know what I mean? I don't think she did. Um, I feel bad for her, though, giving up that child and stuff like that. I, you know, I, I feel real bad. Um, I like her, though. Some people keep saying that they don't like the Willow character. I like Willow. You know, she's a cool addition. I have to see, find out more about her to really get to know the character, but I'm really digging the character so far. She got, you know, a layer to her, but I want to see more layers. Um, I... I'm still on the fence with her and Michael and her and Chase. I'm still on the fence. I like the chemistry she has with Chase, and I love the chemistry she has with Michael. Notice that I said like and love. I said like about her and Chase and love about her and Michael. I don't know. I think, like I said before, I think there's just a more deeper connection with her and Michael. Probably over the baby and stuff like that. It's just a deeper connection there. They're getting to know each other more on an emotional level. Her and Chase are getting to know each other on a more goofy funny type level i don't really see the real emotional connection you know what i'm saying so i i don't know i'm just split still i don't know christina 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 needs to figure her stuff out with um valerie i know some people are saying oh valerie ain't gay or whatever but like i said before kissing another girl does not make her gay experimental bisexual those could be some words i would use but i wouldn't say gay i wouldn't say she's gay but um even if she was who cares you know what i'm saying maybe she just don't really know what she wants and if you really go back and watch that scene when her and christina were kissing even before they kissed she was definitely sending out some flirty messages to christina so i can understand why christina got her signals crossed because it was definitely some flirtation on Valerie's part. It was subtle, but it was there. And look at the kiss. When they kissed, Valerie was definitely kissing her back. She did not immediately shove her off. Notice that. She didn't immediately shove her off. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? If you weren't that way, you would have immediately pushed her up off you. She didn't do that. I noticed that. She was definitely digging that kiss as much as Christina was. Trust. Um... But I think Valerie just has to figure out her feelings. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like her and Christina need to sit down and have a talk. Because you could clearly see at the party that they were avoiding each other. Um, Not avoid, not avoiding each other, but it was more like Valerie avoided her. And even Michael noticed it. Like, he took notice. Um, so anyway, this murder investigation is kicking into high gear. Curtis stumbled upon, you know, Peyton Mills' blood all over the office. And, of course, they couldn't find a body until the body appeared. <laughs> yo, Ryan is sick, yo. Ryan will kill his own mama. Like, Ryan is crazy. Didn't his mama molest him when he was a child? Yeah, she did. Um, Ryan is a sick puppy. Like, honestly, Ryan needs a lot of help. And a lot of prison time. Ava definitely needs to get away from him. ASAP. Honestly, though, it was sad seeing Ava go through all the box of stuff that Kiki, you know, had from her childhood and stuff. Ava is going to be grieving for a mighty long time. And when she find out that Ryan was the one who murdered her child, all hell is going to break loose. I'm telling you right now, she really going to feel the pain. Like, she's going to be on a warpath when she find out. I'm telling you. It's not going to be nothing that's going to stop her. Absolutely nothing. Ryan needs to be stopped. <laughs> but he's entertaining, though. I can't help it. Um. So, anyway, this was a pretty solid episode. Um. Hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all all thought. And I will see you all in 2019. I hope you all have a wonderful day wonderful weekend.
Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you have a wonderful New Year's Eve. Don't party too, too hard. Um, you don't want a massive hangover, but I digress. Have a good day. Peace.